Today is a day of packages through the mail. I've saved the opening of them for you. Two out of three packages have already arrived, so at some point I might have to go out the door and get my third package. But while we're waiting for that, let's open these and see what goodies lie within. So I'm going to open this one first. This is a planner. I'm notoriously not great at planning, uh, using a planner. <laughs> um, I tend to just like write things down on bits of paper that are lying around. But my sister got a diary, a diary planner. And when she got hers, it gave her a discount code to share, which I think I've got as well. So if I've got a discount code, I'll pop it in the video description down below. Um, Cause you might be able to get a discount off a diary as well. You say the little bit of paper can go a long way. Just so you know guys, I'm not sponsored. The literally the only, the only kind of help that I've got from this was from my sister who gave me the discount code, but I'm not sponsored at all. I'm not even paid. I'm not being paid to, to do this. This is just something that's happened in my day and I wanted to share it with you. So it's from Papier. 2023 and look it's got my name on it emma woodthorpe so this is there's like many many designs of diary to choose from but i went for something quite simple got it all um named up and hopefully this is going to help me get get my organization on for this year because i've got a lot that i'm doing i'm doing an illustration course let me turn you around and speak to you face to face so I've got loads going on this year. So I've signed up to an illustration course with the Good Ship Illustration, um, just to help me try and find my voice a little bit more. I know I can I can draw and I can make things look like things, um, but I think when I very first started doing my when I when I quit my teaching assistant job and then I had to start making money from art, I started doing landscapes, which were lovely and realistic and beautiful, but. I soon realised that the things that were making me actual money were my illustrated pieces and then I was like holding on to those for dear life thinking I really got to make some money now and I went down that road. But now I'm, I think it's time I can take a step back and really find what my heart wants to do rather than what my head wants to do to make some money and hopefully they'll meet in the middle and I'll be able to make money from it. Um, but at the same time as doing my illustration course I've still got to keep my small business embers and ink running which I run from home um, which I can be a little bit of a one a one trick pony so as soon as I've got one thing to focus on I focus on it but then as soon as I focus on something else this thing kind of peters away so I'm going to try and keep all the balls in the air this year so hopefully this will help so yeah I've got my um it's already got ink on the back of it off my table uh, I've got my illustration course I've got to keep my business running I've got a children's book that I'm illustrating and I'm going to be um, hopefully self-publishing but maybe I might approach some publishers about it it's a whole new avenue for me that so um basically I want to keep organized and I don't just want to let one or two of my loves peter out as I focus on another one which tends to happen so that's it this is where this is going to be really useful so I'm going to get on later today with filling this in cool but not right now but like I say I think I've got a code which will get you money off if you want one I'm not sponsored I am not sponsored but I have got a code you know like when you you buy things and they'll send you a discount code. Here, send this to your friends and you'll get five pounds off your next order. I, I can't remember what I get. I'll pop it all in, when I find out, I'll pop it all in the video descriptions, but I'm pretty sure you get money off and I'll also get money off if I buy anything else in the future. Um, but I'm not sponsored. Like, like I say, I'm not getting paid to say this. There are other diary people out there. Don't feel obliged. Right, and now onto the exciting order. I mean, that was exciting, but this is the exciting order because I've ordered some new art supplies. Let's get them out and have a look. Okay, this little order is from a place called Cult Pens. Again, I'm not sponsored. Now let's see what I've got. First of all, let's get these out of the way because they're not really art supplies. But one of the last times I was home, I went through some of my dad's old things 
and found some old Parker pens that had obviously run out because, I mean, he died over 10 years ago and he probably hadn't used them for like 10 years before then. And I can't seem to find them now, but I've got the refills for those. So let's put those to one side, do those later. These lovely things have been bought specifically, not those, have been bought specifically to help my sketchbooking. So let's show you my sketchbooks for now. I am trying, if you didn't watch the last video, I'll pop a link to it in the description, but I'm trying to sketch quicker. Um, and I know they're scribbly and wiggly and scriggly and bibbly. I'm trying to sketch quicker basically and in that I'm developing a wobbly, less accurate, more illustrative uh, way of drawing. This is one that I'm really happy with actually, I did it yesterday. But when I'm trying to lay down big areas of colour, um, I find, sometimes find, I mean, this is probably about, about as big a, an area of colour that I'm happy to scribble. But sometimes you need a base colour and then you need to scribble the shade and details on top. So for instance, here, it was just too much. But if I'd had something I could lay down an equal amount of colour in, I could have went over in pencil to get a bit of detail, a bit of texture. And that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm hoping I'm gonna get with these things. So, if you have uh, watched me for a while, you'll know I have a sister called Deborah Woodthorpe and she also has her own YouTube channel. She's also an illustrator. I'll link her in the description or on here somewhere now. And I basically mined her brain for suggestions because I was going to get some Copic markers or alcohol pens because I know from watching people on Instagram and stuff like that, that they do have an even distribution of color. So I asked her and she said, no. <laughs> because they run out really quickly and they seep through to the other side of the page. And she said, go for some Ecoline pens or Ecoline pens. Um, and I've already actually used Ecoline. I used Ecoline to illustrate and colour in the Our Dave book. And I got them, not in pens, but I got them in these things. Let me show you. This one, for example. And these, the little glass, the little glass kind of dr droplet, dropper bottles and you you know drop the colour into your palette but apparently these can be used to refill these which is amazing so I already had those and I know how vibrant the colours are so knowing that you can get them in pens is amazing this is actually the same colour as this one so hopefully I'll be able to use this to refill this and I'm going to use these to lay down the colour that I want uh, to use as a base so I have pink beige, warm grey, pastel yellow, bronze green, delicious, delicious indigo, which I've also got in the uh, in the pots too. Sepia deep and yellow ochre. So I'm hoping that these will provide enough kind of neutral, lovely warm background tones for my sketchbook that I can draw on top of. But we'll see, we'll experiment with those later. We'll get some swatches on for those. Anyone who has watched my sister's YouTube channel already will know that she is a massive fan of the Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s. So obviously she suggested I get some of these. The good thing about these is that they're water-soluble water wax pastels. So you can use them as a wax crayon, but if you add water to them, they are water-soluble and they can make a, a nice base of colour. I've never used them before. I've got, uh, I forgot, greyish black delicious indigo and yellow i think yellow and indigo are just like Mwah. so we'll try those out later as well in the sketchbook but let's have a look at what else i've got next are these inks i've realized that in my sketchbooking uh, that i've done in the last couple of days that i love dippy pens so i found this in my dad's in my dad's stuff as well um it's really awkward to draw with, but I like the results that you get. I've also got some uh, some pens and nibs uh, that you put together like that, and you can draw with them, dipping in and, and drawing. Really love how, how it looks when it comes out. So I got some inks. They are diamine inks, and they are classic green, Prussian blue, and midnight blue. 
I got these not only to draw in with my dip pen, but also hopefully to um, use with a brush to help create washes of colour in the background. I'll experiment with them and see how they go. But I'm really super chuffed with those. Now all we need to do is get the sketchbook out. So this is the sketchbook I've got at the moment. I'm not being precious. It's messy and I don't mind making a mess in it. It's not, it's not one of those kind of sketchbooks that I used to keep where every page was going to be perfect. Otherwise I'd stress out. So I'm going to make a mess in here and let's have a look and see what we've got. Let's try the eco line. Oh yes. Hello eco line. And it dries fairly quick. Can I layer over it? Yes. This paper isn't the best paper to be using because it is literally just cartridge paper. But um, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let me move my light a bit closer. There we go. It's just cartridge paper, so it does bobble quite easily. But I can see there that I can build up the colour by going over it a few times. The paper is just coming up underneath it because, like I say, it's really poor quality paper. But already super happy with my eco line. So let me just write down what that was. Say, I've got all of these from Cult Pens uh, and while I'm not sponsored I just checked my emails and they have given me another one of those little codes so if you've never shopped with Cult Pens before I'm sorry if I've got stuff in my teeth I've just eaten some cranberries if you've never shopped with Cult Pens before and you wanted to you can get 10% off your first order and when you use the code that I'm going to put in the description of this video um, it also gets me 10% off my next order as well so it's kind of like quid pro quo. Uh, again, there are other shops out there that sell this stuff. There is no obligation. I am not sponsored. They're not paying me to say this. But the experience that I've had with Cult Pens has been good. They were very quick at uh, sending things. They wrapped very conscientiously. There is a bit of plastic, but um, I'll be feeding that back. But generally, it's rather it was rather a lovely experience. So if you've never shopped with them before and you were thinking about getting something, uh, I'll pop the code that they've given me in the video description. You'll get 10% off your first order and I'll also get 10% off when you use the order. So you'll be helping me too. But like I say, no obligation for any of that. Not sponsored. Uh, I can't wait for these to dry so I can actually get on and do some sketchbooking. Although I did buy a big bunch of sketchbooks the other day. I just went mad. So I've got this one like a landscape one. Um, I'm not normally a fan of spiral bound ones, but I was thinking if I'm going to be doing sketchbooking on the go, it easily folds back and it's, it's, it, oh, no. it's easier to um, manage really. If you're standing up, for example, uh, then if you've got something like this, 
where you'd have to like balance it or lean it on something. Um, but I also got some of these. <laughs> Saying that, I did get some of these. So I've got the spiral bound one, which is thicker paper. I think that'll be good for water, as long as it's not like a full watercolour pin. I think it'll be fine. Um, so I've got, I did get a couple of these. There's one in my sketchbook in, uh, box already, um, bag already. So I've got some A5 ones. So I've got three A4 ones. And I've got two. A3 ones. I've never had a sketchbook this big before, so I don't know if I'm going to do full uh, A2 spread illustrations or if I'm going to use different parts of the page. Who knows? But I'm going to start using sketchbooks in the way that they're supposed to be used as a place to explore, to uh, research and just to experiment and be messy. So that's my tip to you if you find yourself being a bit precious and you find that you never sketchbook and you never go back to those pictures that never really, ha halfway through they didn't really work. So you put them away and then you start hating yourself. My tip to you would be to go on the Good Ship Illustrations um, website uh, or their, uh, their Instagram page which is at Good Ship Illustration. They've got all the links on there. Again, I'm not sponsored by the Good Ship Illustration but they've got a little tool which is the sketchbooker's friend. It's a free audio. It's like the first audio they ever did. And basically it's all about, um, you know, timing yourself when you're sketching. And I've started doing that. And I I'd recommend you go and listen to it anyway, because they are three lovely people. who have got loads of experience in, in the illustration business, in the illustration world. Um, the audio is, it's really funny because it's the first audio that they did. And it's, um, it's a little bit, collaged together shall we say but they're lovely people and yeah they've really their tips from the sketchbook's friend have really helped me loosen up with my sketchbook and have really helped me like, just chill out I used to like I've always loved art but I used to get I used to get to the point where it made me hate myself if that made sense if it didn't go right or if it looked a little bit wonky now I embrace the wonk I'm aiming for wonk so if I get one, then I've won. The results are what I wanted. Um, I, but I feel like I'm a lot closer to something that I, I... I'm a lot closer to an end result that I am seeking, which I don't really know what the end result is, but I'm, I'm getting there through experimentation and play. And if you finish a day and your hands are covered in ink and you're struggling to wipe it out your cuticles, to me, that's a good day. Anyway, I'm going to go and make a brew, let this dry, and then we can have a little, maybe a, a sketchbook together and explore. I'll find some interesting things from around my house and I'll do some time sketches with you. I don't know why I picked that up. And very interesting things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and sketch from, stop. I'm going to stop sketching from pictures and I'll start sketching from life, even if it's a boring like mug or whatever. Not that my mugs are boring and yeah stop being so precious about it all that's my tip to you kettle While that paint dries in my sketchbook I'm going to get on and do 40 minutes of work on my next children's book. Check me out being all organised. It must be my new diary. of the day has arrived so let's open that together
I've got some cards, just restocks of old designs. I've got Happy Birthday Dave with Trigger on the front. Do the best cat, Mum. Smelly and old. Happy birthday. You are smelly and old. And love cats because Valentine's Day is imminent. These are all available on my website, which is embersandinc.co.uk. Um, but if you're in Sheffield, you can also get them from the Sheffield Makers Shop in the Winter Gardens. And I think the bare alternative um, on Abidil Road and Old Carrot No Stick on Chesterfield Road may have a few of these left as well. Um, I'm going to take some photos of these for my Instagram because this is a prime example of me focusing on one thing and forgetting completely, not forgetting, but like not putting enough time in another thing. So because I've been sketchbooking like a mad thing for the last few weeks, nearly the whole, a whole month, I have not done any posts or any work on uk. I need to get better, so I'm going to plan in my diary to do some photos of these new product, not new products, newly stocked products, uh, and put them on my Instagram. And then I'll do it, and I can take it off and feel all efficient. going to need this camera now so um, just assume that I've done what I said I'd do. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's video I'm going to leave it here and as the video signs out I'm going to do a little time lapse of me just finishing those very quick uh, scribbly sketches in my sketchbook to um, to explore my new materials and some old materials as well probably but keep watching to watch the time lapse of that and until next week i'm going to say goodbye see ya mm -hmm.